Well, would you look at that? It always happens whenever I turn on the camera. You guys are like my good luck charm. Okay. So I just got an order from a sushi restaurant, so I'm driving there right now, but hello, welcome back to another DoorDash video. I haven't done one of these in a while because I actually stopped DoorDashing for like two to three months, like when the whole um, pandemic started, just because I was like afraid to have to go out and deliver to people and I didn't want to put myself at risk and others at risk as well um, so I just decided to stay home but I actually went dashing last weekend and it was actually really nice and not bad at all and everyone was really understanding and it is a whole different ball game because now you don't even have to see the customer which I love <laughs> so it's been a while things are I got another order, oh my god. Things are definitely different. Um, there's new policies that I have to follow. And it's just, it's just a different experience. And I know that a lot of you guys still ask uh, questions on like my older DoorDash videos. So I wanted to continue this and kind of document what it's like to DoorDash during a pandemic. I just arrived in the parking lot at the sushi restaurant. I'm gonna pick up my first order and then I already have a second order lined up. And we're just gonna go through my shiv today and see what happens. So I'm gonna drive to Chipotle right now. It's like two minutes away from me. Um, but yeah, while well, I was in the sushi restaurant, dude, it's so freaking weird. First of all, I'm not used to being in public spaces for obvious reasons. I haven't been um, like in restaurants, dining in or anything. And so when I went there to go pick up the food, there like literally almost every customer was not wearing masks. And I was like, you bitches make me sick. <laughs> like I can only imagine how horrible it is to be in the food industry right now like you have to put up with these stupid idiotic people who don't want to wear masks <sighs> let's do this So the biggest change that DoorDash has made is within the delivery process. So now when a customer wants contactless delivery, we have to take a picture of where we place the order to make it easier for them to find it. We can add a description if you want. I always just add a cute little message and then that's it. The delivery is complete. And then you get to just walk away without having awkward small talk. So I just dropped off my last delivery of the two, got my coin. Now I'm heading to a busier area so I have a better chance of, you know, getting more orders. And as I say that, another one comes in. 1050 for five guys. It is so freaking hot outside, I cannot believe it. I want to blast my AC so bad, but I don't want you to not be able to hear because of that. Okay, so for this order, I have to actually get off and go inside and pick up the order. It's already ready. I don't have to place anything. I just have to go inside and get it. So I already put my gloves on. I'm not playing no games, okay? I'm taking this shit seriously, as should you. So I guess I gotta go inside, which sucks, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Secured the bag. So I just dropped off that order from Five Guys and then I got two orders from Papa John's. It's been a very busy day, which is awesome. Something that I've noticed is that 
people are way nicer. Well, not, not that anyone has ever been mean, but I feel like people are just really understanding and they're actually tipping now, thank God. Cause sometimes like you would really go out of your way to be like the perfect driver for them and then they don't tip you anything. And it's like, I can definitely see a difference in like the way the customers treat you because they are so appreciative um, of the service that we're providing, I guess. Like how I mentioned last week, how uh, I went dashing, this one lady in particular messaged me like two times thanking me so much for delivering her order and then she gave me a nice tip and yeah, it's just been like a different experience. So far, no complaints, which is great. Congratulations, sir. Your Papa John. Pizza is here. Okay, little update because I've kind of been not doing the best at like narrating what's going on. Um, sorry about that. Sis is working, trying to get her bag up. It just dropped off one of my Papa John's pizza orders. In and now of a mile. turn left onto Washington Street. So I have one pizza in the back right now that I'm going to deliver right now. So far, the last two people that I've delivered to, they opted out for contactless delivery, which I guess you can do. So they've just been like waiting for me outside their door, <laughs> which is why I haven't um, recorded me like dropping off any of their orders. That like kind of blows my mind. Like why wouldn't you want contactless delivery unless you're like really, really craving human social interaction. If you're curious, there is an option that I can do on my end where I can say that I don't want to see them and I want contactless delivery. So that is really convenient. But the last two people that I delivered to, like I wasn't able, I didn't have time to select that option. So I just handed it to them. But thankfully they were all wearing masks, which I really appreciate because I would lose my shit. If someone did not come out with a mask, like I'd be like, um, hello, sir or ma'am, please step six feet away from me and I will place the goods on the floor. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm in the Jack in the Box drive-thru. I have to place my order as if I'm like ordering through the drive-thru. I have to also pay with a company card. Oh my gosh, another order. Hi, can I have one uh, value fries, one value drink, a Coke, two orders of the two tacos? No, that's gonna be it. Thank you. Gotta put on my mask. Mask on, fucking mask off. One thing I love about wearing my mask is that you can't see my double jump. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna go I just never know how to please you You're looking at me like I'm see-through Thank you. You too. I got an order to pick up some sushi, so that's where I'm gonna go next. Secured the sushi bag. I gotta drive. Again, I'm at the same sushi restaurant I started this video off at. And all of these customers don't have masks on. That's insane. I've been at this for like two hours already. So I think after these last two deliveries, I, I just feel it, you know, I feel like I should just call it a day. Hi. Hi. I have a DoorDash delivery for seven. Okay. okay. Thank you. <clears throat> they don't give a fuck. There's a lot of people outside right now. Turn right onto Heritage Drive, then the destination is on your left. But I'ma just, I'ma just keep to myself. Not gonna say anything. Okay. 
BRB. I have one last delivery of the night, so let's do it. <laughs>